I'm Story Bright Eyes. I'm Saucy Red. I'm Kiwi Sweet. And we are the women of Rollywood. And what we, we're here to tell you what it is that we are all about. We think it's important. We have a mission statement, so we're, we think we've memorized it, even though there's some <laughs> disagreement <Debate>. here. <laughs> so I'll start it and we'll see how you guys finish it. Um, okay. Rollywood is an internet <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Rollywood is an internet show that uses humor, humor and satire, satire to bring attention to, to the, the perils, perils that, that exist in our food, food supply, supply. Mm, providing healthier alternatives, sorry, uh, reliable <laughs> information <laughs> while inviting while inviting people, people of all culinary, culinary persuasions, persuasions to experience a more wholesome, wholesome raw food, food diet. Uh, does that remind <laughs> you of uh, when you ask the kids in your class to repeat everything? <laughs> the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> yeah. So, well, cool. So that's our mission statement. We really want to use humor and satire because we, we feel like a lot of people, the, the world has become so busy and so distracted that unless there's humor or satire or some sort of sexual thing, which we're leaving that part out, <laughs> um, then people just don't watch. So we're hoping that um, to keep you awake <laughs> by using a little bit of satire and humor because we have some important things to say and talk right. about. Yeah, and go, it kind of goes with our theme because laughing is so good for you. It's oh. good for your health. Yes, it's yes. It's like really. exercise and good food. So. Uh-huh. And, and, and in case you haven't noticed, we're all wearing red. And why are we wearing red, girls? Urgency. It's for the urgency and the importance of this matters of the matters that we're talking about, all the issues. Yeah, there's Absolutely. a lot of perils that exist in our food supply. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people, a lot of good people, they just have no idea. Really no idea. Because I think if they did, they probably wouldn't be feeding their children at least half of the things that they do. Yeah. And yeah. um they would start making some changes. But it's hard and the reason it's hard is because it's so ingrained, it's all all around us. I think I read like seventy percent of all food that you buy has some form of GMO, which are definitely one of the biggest perils in our food supply. And we have a little stack here of papers. On our, we know it's not very professional, but we're kind of, kind of going to act like newswomen. <laughs> but um, Rollywood's not going to be about just all the perils. We're going to try to do some fun stuff. We're going to try to make you laugh. We're going to make raw food recipes. We're going to eat. We're going to do lots of eating on Rollywood. Which is the best part. <laughs> you know what I'd love yeah, to do? Yeah. I'd love to like make some raw food and just take it on a tray to a place where there are people. And just say, hey, taste this and tell me what you think. Yeah. That's that would a be great fun. idea. Yeah. Let's do that. It'll be the raw moment. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> great. The raw yeah. moment. That's yes. <laughs> the perils that exist in our food supply, they affect, let's just say, economically challenged people more than anyone. True. And um, I know a lot of people see certain people that they're big or heavy or, you know, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. It may not all be your fault. And um, they, because of their economic um, circumstances or whatever, they're forced to eat food that they can afford. But we're hoping to be able to show you some things that you, you can do, uh, some treats you can give your kids that aren't that are not going to cost you an arm or, or a leg right mm -hmm. and if you have diabetes it could cost you an arm or a leg and uh, <laughs> or toe or two <laughs> that's terrible i'm sorry the bad we, stuff right? but we, we had to say a tooth or two oh, yeah. and and that that really um we have a whole list here of just i'm sure there's so many other things to talk about but we have here a list of two papers two sheets of paper with different things and these are things that we want you all we're going to talk about we're going to talk about a few things and quickly but a little bit more in depth but what do we have here? We have um, uh, school lunches. Okay. She has children. Well, I have children too, but she has uh, elementary school age children, and yes. she works at a school. And how? What are those lunches like? Mm. Well, I wish I could order one. Every now and then, when I don't bring something, I might, I might get the bean and cheese burrito. But it, they're really very void of any kind of nutritional value, unless they have a fresh fruit or vegetable. Other than that, it's pretty much white. Reddish and what I've heard, the meat is not even up to standard. They won't sell it in grocery stores or even fast food. They get it cheaper. But your kids are eating it, so yeah. <laughs> and I just I just learned that my school, and I won't say the name of the school, that mm. my school is um, doing a special project for the children, and as a reward, they're going to provide them with a McDonald's cheeseburger. Yay! And so well, what you do is you tell him. 
if um, if you when you get that hamburger, put it in your pocket and bring it home. <laughs> yes, yes, there, there you go. Right. Okay, so school lunches are horrible. I, I don't think it's a big surprise to anyone. No. And um, I want to know why there are increasingly more and more vaccinations being given to children. Uh, that's something we're going to talk about because it, it really concerns me because people I love are having children. And um, what else, ladies? Um, we have I'm concerned that we have an epidemic of diabetes. Diabetes alone is one of the biggest killers in our medical industry. And according to Food Inc., that show, in the future, we're looking at if you are from an impoverished family, it's one in three who are born after the year 2000 who will develop type 2 diabetes. One in five if you're from an affluent home. And that is a big red flag. And well, you know, you know what's interesting yeah. is that I'm sure some of you might already know this. There's a, a diabetes drug called Avandia. And they've already proven from all these test studies, and you know who, who's doing the test studies? You guys are. Mm -hmm. the, and you have a 46% more chance of having a heart attack or a stroke because you're taking this stuff. And so the people were so alarmed about it that what they did was that they wanted to take it off the market. But the makers of Avandia, they went there to the FDA, which we all know is false data accepted, and they let them give them a song and dance and change the statistic and did this and that, did that, and they, they let it back on the market. Mm -hmm. And I think it's funny because they found um, a few years, uh, few years ago, they found uh, almonds with, uh, with uh, I think they found two cases of salmonella on almonds. So now, every, some nut in the um, nut industry decided that Every almond has to be pasteurized. If it's, they pasteurize it with really hot water, or you can, you can fumigate it. Hmm. So, isn't that crazy? Uh -huh. Yeah, and we're wow. eating those things. And, we're eating it. and um, you can buy um, almonds, raw almonds from another country, but you can't buy almonds here in the United States. They're raw and just in their beautiful and pure state. Unless you go to a farmer's market, it has to be a certified organic farmer's market. Right, oh, exactly. Yes. Because a lot of the um, produce from the farmer's market actually doesn't even come from this country. So you have to really make sure that it's locally grown. Oh, right. right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have to ask them and they'll tell you. There's a lot of stuff going yeah. on. Yes. Okay, so we're concerned. Uh, we have a lot of concerns. Polluted water. Mm -hmm. Polluted water, um, yes. Think about Gulf oil, the Gulf, oil, um, the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, they say it's all cleaned up. Uh, there's plastic everywhere. How many people are recycling? Um, do you really? Is there really a difference between organic and conventional farming? How about sewer sludge and fertilizer? Does that sound good to you? Gross. No. And How, and what makes? Excuse me, Mara, but what makes the sewer sludge so dangerous and toxic are all the. Um, toxins that are put, the runoff, the waste that's put from the mm -hmm. industry, from the agriculture. It's not even so much this, the human sewer, it's the toxins that makes it completely and dangerous. And all the pharmaceuticals, all the pills that people are ingesting right. and they're going through. And so every once in a while they have this big lettuce scare that um, killed a boy who ate lettuce. Or, or spinach. Or spinach, right. And uh, where do you think it was contaminated? Uh, where did it get its contamination? Like. Let's start thinking beyond the um, the the blah blah of the media. 